slugs amorous in the air. On mucus films they glide, gracefully monstrous, slick, misbegotten whales, halved, cast out onto land, shrunken, left to cross forever the shoreless sea of earth. Indifferent to us, these constant voyagers, detecting in each other clues of readiness who knows how, they soar like gradual eagles up a bank of tree, out onto a dark current of limb, then dangle from a single length of shared umbilicus, high in clear blue air, spinning slowly in the globe of their own motion, two beings intent upon each other, as only lovers are, each laved by the liquid other, in body length embrace, like darkly pairing tongues, or the sundered halves of Leviathan, trying bright reunion in their sea of air. They hang in that whole kiss, while we look on radiant with disgust and envious, pitching toward awe, as from each head organs emerge, unfurling like silk parachutes, exquisite with awareness, each coddling its exact other in the counterfeit, with a long, careful touching, numinous as saints, unutterably lewd as they merge in a bright, soft lock, joined as orchids might join if animated by desire, trembling blossom against blossom, slow pulse matching slow pulse, as these doubly sexed beings will do, continuing an hour and more, each gross shape further extending from the chill of what should be its head, the lucent figure of an organ wholly sexual as angels, male and female brilliance twinned. And what passes between them in this urgent healing sought by the never whole passes slow as nectar shining in the deepest flower we know and multiplies into these glistening miracles, we who grow gardens in our annoyance never guess. <laughs> 